ampak drugače pa ni razlike med naravnim pa med sintetičnim, tukaj ni razlike. So you must understand that if you read synthetic cannabinoids that it can be quite different compounds which never had any point similar to cannabinoids. Dejali ste, da je sintetični CBD isto kot naravni, pa me potem zanima, zakaj potem sedaj naravni ni dovoljen sintetični, pa je v kozmetičnih izdelkih. V bistvu, ne vem, če sem to res tako rekla. Jaz lahko samo to povem, da je pač industrijska konopla, ki vsebuje tudi CBD, dovoljena za gojenje in tudi uporabo v kozmetiki. Na doročju kozmetike, da piše v direktivi oziroma, da smo dobili v zapisniku zapisano, da ne smemo uporabljati raslinskega CBD-a v kozmetiki, sintetičnega pa lahko. In če jaz proizvam kozmetiko, potem kot kmet lahko uporabljam vse svoje sestavine, ki jih predelam, sintetični CBD pa moram kupiti pri farmacijalskem podjetju in dokazati, da je to sintetični CBD. Kaj Slovenija, tudi vaše ministerstvo pa ministerstvo gospoda promoviramo domače slovensko naravno, zdaj pa v eno naravno očinkovino, tako kot je povedala, moramo dati pa nekaj sintetičnega ometnega, tako kot da bi med konopljena vlakna morali dati še, ne vem, azbest. Zdaj, logika pri kozmetiki je zelo podobna kot pri živili. Se pravi, s tem pravilnikom je dovoljena gojenja in tudi uporaba, tako v živilih kot v kozmetiki, ob tem, da se CBD ne bi smel koncentrirati, ko da je zanima, a gre za take primere. Ampak drugače pa ni razlike med naravnim pa med sintetičnim, tukaj ni razlike. Ja, to pa ne imajo področje, tako da bi težko to odgovorila, ne vem, zakaj se sintetični ne bi bil. Ampak vi, ki ste iz Ministrca za zdravje, pravite, da je to isto? Ja, lahko samo načeljno povem, da nekaj, če je sintetično ali pa naravno, ima kemijsko sestavo enako načeljno, ampak zdaj za podrobnaša vprašanja bi vas prosila, če nam date pisno. Jaz avtomatsko kot proizvajec tudi CBD kapljic, ne, razumem, da bi jaz CBD kapljice lahko prodajal, če bi uporabil sintetično CBD, ki pa je že na trgo in se dobi na recept. Ker če se lahko v kozmetiki, potem je zelo tanka meja, med tem, ker se lahko v kozmetiki na ta način počinkovina CBD in pa v prehrani kot prehransko dokonino. Ja, 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 and the derivatives natural, which are in the plant. Today, they call synthetic cannabinoids compounds, which are chemically not cannabinoids at all. Mm -hmm. Only this compound react with cannabinoid receptors. So there is certain mixture, because you can read, or oh, somebody used cannabinoids and died, or somebody was crippled with cannabinoids and this person died or, or was crippled with synthetic compound which has nothing with cannabinoids, only they call it synthetic cannabinoid, mm -hmm. compound which binds to cannabinoid receptors. And it doesn't mean that what binds to cannabinoid receptors that uh, is doing good work. It can harm person. Because most clinical trials today have been using synthetic forms of cannabis and a very different effect. There are ways to synthesize compounds from nature so they can own it and call it their own and then put it into a biological system. Synthetics, in my mind, don't belong in a biological system. They're the wrong energy, the wrong resonance, if you like. So, synthetic cannabinoids, these are not cannabinoids. This can be either chemical compounds which bind to cannabinoid receptors or it can be derivatives of cannabinoids, which are semi-synthetic, but these are not already compounds from the plant. If somebody tells you THC what is chemically, it's very long name, yes? 
which nobody can understand except of chemists. So, and if you tell them uh, this chemical name of synthetic cannabinoid, you can see that it's not cannabinoid. From our experience at this point in time, providing people with isolated cannabinoids is not as effective. As a clinician, uh, it is difficult to recommend using isolated cannabinoids for therapy. The problem is that uh, this is not accepted by the system. Uh, you may, in many cases, be compelled to uh, prescribe something which possibly, uh, most likely, is less effective. So what they found in the United States in a couple of situations was that some of these synthetic cannabinoids were added. And these synthetic cannabinoids are very dangerous. A CB1-specific compound that will mimic THC, but it doesn't bind to CB2. You see, THC balances CB1 and CB2 activity, sugar burning, fat burning, keeps them in balance. If you have something that only does CB1, then it only turns on sugar burning and you make an excess of free radicals and it kills your brain cells. Potem bi na Ministrstvo za zdravje vedel, ali so sintetični kanabinoidi isto kot na ravni. Zdaj ne vem, kaj me sprašujete, tako to je strokovno vprašanje, ali me sprašujete, kako je to zakonodajno. Zdaj, če me sprašujete o kozmetiki, bi rad za kemikalije, kot je treba kozmetične izdelke, njihov nadzor, vam lahko več pomagal.